Hey guys, um, I have spent probably since the last upload, I guess the best part of about four hours trying to troubleshoot why this little set will not fire up on the shortwave. It's the only thing standing between me and putting this thing back in the case. Um, so I thought I'd go through with you what I've done so far and then you guys can tell me what I missed. Um, so this is the local oscillator and this is the triode hexode, usual stuff here. Um, so this is the uh, coil for long wave, this is the one for medium wave and this is the one for short wave. So right now it oscillates on long wave and medium wave, zilch on short wave. Um, so I've done all the continuity stuff so what I've done here is I've printed off another copy of the um, of the circuit diagram and you know followed it all up so it's set to shortwave so it's easier to follow the, the connections um, and as you can see for shortwave there is really just the coils that are connected and uh, so one end goes to ground on each side uh, and I've verified all the continuity um, the other end here goes up and out uh, and has the variable condenser in parallel here so I'm assuming that coil in parallel with this is the essentially the tank circuit um, <coughs> and then it heads off to the uh, to the valve um, on the other side it simply comes straight up in through the uh, uh, wafer switch and again out to the valve um, since the other two wave bands work okay, I'm assuming everything north of these two caps is good. Um, and so, uh, just again to, uh, and so continuity wise this all checks out. Okay, everything seems to work uh, from a continuity perspective. Um, I did just follow through with the rest of the, uh, the third pole on the switch here to make sure that you know, uh, when it's in that, that position that nothing is actually connected uh, that might somehow be causing a problem and I can't see anything to be honest uh, God knows I've spent enough time on it um, so the other thing obviously I did is I swapped out the valve so since I have a second set and so it's not the valve because both valves work in the working set neither valve work in the rebuild set um, so that's pretty much writes that off as a problem. Um, voltages generally look okay. Um, one other thing I started to do was just um, to check all these points where they leave the, um, the wave uh, band assembly um, and go to to the rest of the circuitry to just check their resistances to ground to chassis um, when you're selecting the different waves uh, wave bands and everything's similar except one major anomaly which makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever uh, and what I discovered was um, that when I checked these various points on the capacitors because they're easy to get at they're just on the on the uh, on the on the surface of the paxil and board um, on the on the set that works between C uh, across C8 here um, when it's in the short wave position you think well everything here is out of circuit so it shouldn't matter and yet I get connectivity there is about 8 ohms to, to chassis on one side of this cap and about probably an ohm on the other side of the cap and yet looking at this diagram there is no way either end of this cap can find a direct route um, to ground um, and it's driving me nuts <laughs> so um, uh, so maybe I'll see if I can show this to you on the actual sets themselves. Um, but it's totally weird because this is the long wave uh, setup here, tank circuit. Um, 
and yet that's the only difference I can see, uh, you know, in terms of just the resistances um, between the two sets. And the fact that it is when it's in the shortwave position, and it is such a big difference, I gotta, I gotta figure it out. I gotta know what this is. So I'll show you on the sets um, uh, where the problem is physically. So here we have the two sets. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see the uh, meter or, or anything, but I'll see if I can get it all into the uh, into the sh into the shot. Um, so here we have the working set. C8 is this cap right here at the top right. If I go on one end of it, I get about seven and a half ohms. If I go on the other end of it, I get about 1.2 ohms. If I go on my, and both of these obviously are set to the shortwave band. If I go over to the other set, then I go to the outside of C8. Open circuit, nothing. Go to the other side of it. Open circuit, nothing. Now, in reality, that's what I would expect, looking at the circuit diagram. But at the moment, that's the only discrepancy I find between these two sets. And it's only in that situation when it's set to shortwave. And so, uh, this one's got me, guys. Um, as I said, there comes a time when you got to start reflecting on how much more time you can <laughs> you can spend on it when you got no more ideas. Um, so, that's where I'm at. Um, I'll keep at it, of course, at least for a little while longer. Um, but, uh, yeah, so close and yet so far with this one. So, uh, any more thoughts that you guys might have on other things I could check and test and whatever? Um, that'd be great. Um, because right now, this is kind of where I'm at. And, uh, okay, I haven't had a lot of time on it recently, but, as I said, probably since the last time uh, I uploaded on this thing, um, I've probably spent uh, four hours uh, over a couple of evenings trying various things, swapping valves, checking volts, checking resistances, continuity, looking for shorts, uh, all that good stuff. Um... Now, there is a difference between these two in this front end in that there's, uh, there are fewer caps on this board than there are on this one over here. Um, and I found on the net a diagram for a Radialva, what they call Super Chic, which was a model that came out a year later in 42. Um, and it does have fewer caps in this front end section, but the local oscillator piece is exactly the same. So I followed it all the way through, um, and yeah, it's exactly the same. So, uh, yep, we're kind of uh, down a hole here, guys. Um, inspiration is what is needed at this point, or the benefit of your guys' much more extensive experience than mine. Um, so yeah, I'll keep at it. If anything uh, blindingly uh, <laughs> new shows up, I'll let you guys know, but in the meantime, uh, this is kind of where it's at, which is uh, a little bit frustrating to say the least. Anyway, more to come, hopefully, <laughs> when I get this sorted out. Getting bolder. A sky full of moon, a sweet mellow too. Oh, but that Surround sound. Imagine me in a gown white and flowery. And you thanking Dad for my dowry. A church full of folks and those last-minute jokes. Oh, by the dream, a honeymoon in Cairo and a brand new auto gyro. Then home by rocket in a wink. We'll settle down near Dallas in a little classic palace. It's not as crazy as you think. Imagine me on our first anniversary with someone like you in the nursery. Oh, it doesn't sound bad. And if it can be had, I'll buy.